I don't think I've ever seen so many arrows in one unit at the same time. Lightsabers versus gladiators. Who's gonna win? Holy moly, that is a lot of lightning. It's going to be Thor versus the robot army. Join the project by subscribing to the channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications so you'll never miss another video. Hey guys, this is Poratic Josephi and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Guys, today, take a look at this. We have a brand spanking new mod and I think it is the coolest one we have ever seen. These are the Neon Warriors with they are lightsaber weapons. Look at this. And then this guy's like, boom. Why pose for some true dominance? Today, guys, we are going to check out all of the neon units and some of the secret units that are included with this mod as well. For example, this one is called the lightning tank. I have no idea what it does, but you and I, we are going to check it out together. And if you are excited for it, you know what to do. Leave a like on the video right here, right now. And then... We're gonna get into it. So we're gonna start this in slow motion. I really want to see what these guys can do. Is this guy... Is he spawning a tornado? <gasps> what? What just happened? Look at this. So this is the lightning tank. Apparently, it shoots a million lightning strikes. Holy moly. But he did get taken down by something. Was it the tornado? Quite clearly we need a bigger level. Now the actual name for these neon warriors is robots. They are apparently robots. So I'll call them the neon warriors because they look so cool and shiny. Now this guy, the lightning tank. I was not expecting this much lightning. Holy mo It's like a wall of lightning. <laughs> None shall escape my mighty smiting ability. Man, I think Zeus, even Zeus, who is kind of the inventor of throwing lightning everywhere, I think even he would be pretty impressed by that. Now he is getting hit up, of course. More lightning, that's just what we needed, right? And they won. Now take a look at this. We saw in the last video, or the one before that, that we had some kind of demon summoning zombie guy. Look at this. He can summon sword guys with lightsabers. Well, he actually... Does he summon three of them? Wait a minute. How is that possible? How do you summon three at the same time? I thought he could only do two of them. Okay, anyway, we've got some robot giants, aka big boy neon warriors, as I like to call them. Let's see who is going to be victorious. Hoo-wee, that's a big boy punch. Wait, where does the lightning come from? Wait, he can spawn different types of units? Whoa, so there's sword guys and there's lightning guys. That's 100% cool. Holy moly. Whoa. I see nothing but light. This is why we need a map that is in the dark. Because then we will be able to see all the sparkly lights. Very, very bright and shiny. That's what I like to see. The giant's getting knocked back by a million and one lightning strikes. And even a tornado. There's a tornado coming out of his butt. Oh, yeah, butt tornado. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody run! It's a butt tornado! Oh, that's not a good thing at all. Man, how, how much lightning can this guy throw? Hello? Oh, that must smell pretty bad though. Butt lightning! That's not nice, okay? I know Buzz Lightyear. Now we know Butt Lightyear. Wait, who is on which team? Because I, 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 I'm a little bit lost here. Usually it's nice blue versus red. Pretty clear, pretty straightforward. Now it's just a whole bunch of shiny mess and I have no idea what's going on. Except that I do because red is victorious. Now for the real firepower. After this, we are gonna check out some more secret units. One of which is Thor, believe it or not. But take a look at this. We have got five of the samurai giants. Big boy dudes, not modded, just samurai giants that you get from the, uh, well, from the pit of darkness over here. But... They're gonna take it up against a super robot. And he is glowing green. I was gonna say growing green. That's not it, right? And, uh, wait, what? Where did he go? Huh? Where did the guy go? Oh, oh! Oh, how did he get there? And why is there explosions? 
<laughs> so the super robot costs a whopping... How much was it? <laughs> 30,000, I believe? It's like 10 times more than a samurai giant, but I didn't quite expect him to be so powerful. Look at that. He punches with explosions. You see, he costs 30,000 versus 15,000 on the samurai giant side. So we need a few more samurai giants. This is, this is usually not how you do it, but the bad thing is these explosions hit everyone. So if you are one of the really cool samurai giants like, Whoa, look at me, I am a very tall guy with a big sword. <laughs> yeah, they think they're cool, huh? But if they're all together, they're just gonna get completely annihilated. After this battle, we are gonna check out some more secret units. And after that, we will check out Thor, which is a completely new custom unit. But first, Super Robot versus the biggest army I could ever create. And look at this guy. He's like, yay, yay, I wanna go in battle. He's super excited about it. And so am I, and so should you be. Cause look at this, right? It's gonna be beautiful, right? Oh yes. He strikes from the right, I think. Okay. I have no idea where he's going. Yo, that's a big Melvin over here. Melvin the Mammoth, ready to battle. Always ready to battle, that's right. Except for today, because they are all going to sleep. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> going to sleepies that's not a great battle strategy guys sleeping is what you do when you rest and resting is what you do after you battle yourself to the death that's right okay you know what maybe they tried okay <laughs> maybe, maybe they tried does look like the guy's kind of stuck he just yelled at me, hello, that's so rude. Anyway, we're gonna scale it down a little bit. Those were some big and pretty ridiculous battles, but take a look at this. This dude is pink. The pink power panther. It's not a panther, it's, a, it's an orc, it's a pork. Anyway, this guy is called the Almighty, and he is gonna face the One Punch guy. That's right, so let's see. If the One Punch guy, uh, oh, oh, he teleported behind him already. But it does look like he needs more than just one punch, huh? <laughs> Man, you literally had one job. And you seem to have completed that job pretty successfully, okay. And now my screen is completely crooked. I <laughs> it's a broken, oh no. What we have to do is scale it back up again, because here we have Thor, believe it or not. Look at this dude. He has no armor, no beautiful golden hair, but he has... A glowing axe thing of some sort. I don't even know where he got it from and I have no idea what he can do with it. But we are gonna put him up against quite a sizable robot army, okay? Look at that! It's going to be Thor versus the robot army! Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. We still have to check out the uh, lightning guy that we saw in the beginning of this adventure. But I think we're gonna first take a look at this battle because Thor, as you guys know, he's all about that lightning with his axe. I mean, usually it's a hammer called Mjolnir, I think you say it. But now let's see if he can deal with this lightning. The answer is a very disappointing no. Wait, so we have Robot, we have Robot Warrior, we have Robot Tornado. Then we have Robot Giant, Robot Summoner, Tornado Warrior and Warrior Master and Super Robot. Which of these dudes summons all those lightning strikes that we saw in the beginning? Because those came from the summoner, right? Okay, so this guy's spawning the tornado. And he's already out game. Alrighty then. Naruto, has anyone actually watched this show? Guess I haven't. I'm sorry, okay? But let's see if Naruto over here, the uh, ninja guy. But this dude is yellow. Why are you from The Simpsons? Ho! Oh! Oh, it's not going so well. All right, let's see, where's the lightnings? It's this guy. But who is that guy? I think it's the tornado guy, right? We have another tornado guy. Which of the tornado guys is the right tornado guy? <laughs> Hold the phone. I wanna put the right guy against the right guy, okay? And, and, and right now it's just one big pile of mess. I don't even know what's going on anymore. See guys, this is what Tabs has come to, okay? Without the mods, you can create some absolutely crazy battles but with these modded units that are just completely outrageous you can create battles that are like this you kind of don't know what's happening but there's a lot of explosions so you still like it i mean 
<laughs> I like it. But let's see if we can figure out which is that robot lightning summoner guy, right? So we have robot tornado warrior and robot tornado master. If we put them up against each other, we should be able to see which is which, right? Wait, is neither of them the lightning guy? Because I see no lightning anymore. Huh? I am maximally confusorino. How about we change it up just a little bit, okay? This guy is still rocking the T-pose. Yes, fully dominant on the battlefield. Here we have some more modded units. These, I believe, actually go into the game at some point. But take a look at this, right? We have got one, two, three, four, five layers of increasingly powerful gladiators and they are going to face the summoner who is still doing the white post can you please stop my dude all right let's see if it's gonna work out i think that the gladiators make a pretty good chance i think they got a good chance i think so as long as the summoner does not summon one of those lightning throwing tornado crazy guys because that's not gonna be good for the gladiator team, I don't think. So, here we go. First things first. Lightsabers versus gladiators. Who's gonna win? I think it's gonna be... I think it's gonna be gladiators. I, I've got... I've got faith in the gladiators. And my faith is very rapidly disappearing because... This guy spawns these guys really quite fast, huh? A little bit faster than expected. After all, this is still slow motion. Because I want to see every aspect of this mighty battle. Let's take a look. Is there a tornado guy? No tornado guy. No tornado guy. Very good. Very good. Uh, very well indeed. Now let's see if the gladiators can make a chance. You see, the thing is... The further you place the summoner in the back... The more time he has to check out a billion dudes. And like... Summon a whole army. And that's not good. So if we put him really close... Or... What if we give the gladiators some ranged attacks? Oh, he just spawned a super robot! Oh no! That is the guy that destroyed my entire army of samurai giants. Yeah, this is over. This is completely done for. <laughs> what is this? The most powerful unit in the game? Because this is one unit that doesn't even cost all that much. And look what he's causing to my gladiators! He's just turning them into puppets. That's crazy. I'm very excited for like the final battle where we are really gonna break the game. But as you can see, this is not gonna happen. We need way more firepower to take down just one of these. So we are gonna go to Dynasty or Dynasty or whatever. How do you say that anyway? And we're gonna place down a whole bunch of... There we go. But look at this dude cost 6,500. That's so cheap. Okay, so what we're gonna do is... Gonna get this battle going. We wanna take down that pesky summoner guy after we have eliminated him. No matter the cost. No matter the casualties, okay? We are gonna place down like a bunch of these dudes and have them battle each other. I think... I think that's gonna be... Uh, that is gonna be pretty bad for the game, I think. And my PC might, you know, catch fire or something. But that, that's okay. That's worth it. I, I got like a whole supply of PCs somewhere in the back, okay? For you guys so that I can keep making videos. <laughs> Now let's see if the hover chats are any good. I think the answer is a super disappointing and nope Because they don't even reach the summoner, right? <gasps> what? They do reach the summoner. Oh, wait. No, he's still alive. I, <laughs> I Thought maybe you know if the summoner doesn't have as much health, you know, uh, maybe it's a little bit balanced But no, he just he just went for a little power nap and that's it little power nap and he's back on track. Okay, well, this is clearly not gonna work. We need way more firepower. And I think Artemis is going to be what we need. Because after all, that is one of the uh, secret units. So let's grab Artemis. Because Artemis is like ranged, right? That's really good. 30 of them. And then a big boy ice giant in the front. Let's see if this is gonna be enough. If this is not enough, I don't even know anymore. And the giant is in the way. What am I doing? <laughs> Come on, man. This is more arrows than I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm breaking the game already. Oh, that's not good. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of arrows. And we won. Ha! I don't think I've ever seen so many arrows 
in one unit at the same time. It is time to properly... <laughs> Look at this. Anyway, to properly break the game, okay? One, two, three, four, five versus five. Let's see if this is gonna be a good battle. Oh, it's already laggy. Wait, they fight each other? No, wait, that's the super uh, robot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we placed down 10 units. Only 10 of them. And it's already so much chaos. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. I don't know who came up with this mod, but you, sir, or ma'am, are a genius. And I love you very much for it. Now let's take a look. If this battle is actually gonna end ever. Because right now, it's just a bunch of explosions caused by the uh, super robot, of course, the green one. But I don't think it's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I see dudes all the way in the back. Wait, these are the summoners? Why? <laughs> Why are they so far in the back? Is this guy... Is he down? Oh, <gasps> he has been eliminated. You see those little eyes? Oh, that's great. That's good news. That means that this battle is actually wow that is actually doing something it's raining robots hallelujah what do you know today's weather forecast uh, cloudy sunny with a big chance of well robot rain but my mission has failed in epic proportions my pc is not on fire the game is still working and my head has not exploded yet that is a big fail let's go ahead and do this the right way, okay? Let's do this. The James way. We're gonna place down... Sh should I do 15? You know what? We can at least spread them out a little bit, right? I have a really bad feeling about this. This is a bad idea. Guys, do not try this at home. And if you do, try it at your own risk. If you burn down your house, it is not my bad. And we're just gonna sit here and watch the battle, okay? Here we go. Ho! Oh, that's a lot of guys. <laughs> oh my. Oh my, oh, that is... Yeah, I, I don't want to move the camera too much. Oh, <laughs> that's all... Oh, no. What have I done? Why do I send myself to the darkness of video games? Whoa. Wait, the summoner cannot summon a summoner, right? Because if the summoner summons a summoner, that summoner can summon another summoner. And if that summoner summons a summoner... I think we're gonna have a real problem. This is slow motion. I, do I dare to let go of the slow motion? Wait, we can pause it. Well, ultra slow motion. <gasps> Guys, this is the most ridiculous battle I have ever seen in my entire life. Holy moly, that is a lot of lightning. That's enough power to power all of the USA. And we know that you guys use a lot of power. I know you, okay? Okay, we're gonna unpause it. And we're just gonna let it happen. And that's that's about three frames per second. That is that is not. Oh boy. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for some more totally accurate battle simulator. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and I'll see you if you guys on the next Project Safari video.